بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the reading uh, lesson of Unit 4 TV around the world and remember this theme, this unit, uh, this unit's main theme is TV from the title itself TV around the world so obviously we'll be reading today about uh, TVs but before we do that, let's, rep let's revise what we previously took in the vocabulary lesson. Uh, these are some words that we learned the definition for. Of course, these words we'll be finding today in the article, the word evolution, meaning the gradual change and development of an idea. The word distinct, meaning uh, clearly different. The word prototype, a model used to, taste a new, to, t uh, to test a new machine, a car, etc. Uh, the word uh, transmit, to send. Uh, the word patent, obtain the right to make or sell new invention, to have the right. Uh, milestone, a very important event. Milestone, an important event in the development of something. So in the development of any machinery, the event here is called milestone, a very important event. Uh, affluence, meaning having plenty of money and possessions. Then we took where these words will come in today's lesson. Of course, we will be finding them today, uh, these words, evolution, distinct, etc. So let's indulge in our lesson today. These are the objectives for today. Predict the reason why would someone hate TV. Distinguish the text main ideas. Find out the meaning of new words. Match the inventor to his invention. Match the invention with its effects. Find uh, the reason behind calling it the TV, the tube, of course. Answer questions about the text. So, we'll be, uh, so normally we'll be reading a text, uh, the text for today, the article. Then we'll be answering some questions about it. So this is, of course, what we have in our houses in each house. This is a TV. Maybe you're now watching me from your TV. Uh, before reading question here, television is popular around the world. This is a known fact. Television is extremely popular. It's in almost every house in the world. Why do you think it's so popular? Why are TVs so popular? What makes them popular? Can you think of one or two reasons? because they entertain us, uh, because uh, we spend our time on them, if you want uh, sp time spent, especially now smart TVs. We can, uh, we can use them to watch our movies, our TV series, uh, or maybe s record what we watch. So now TV has came uh, a long way from the beginning of uh, its history. How much do you think you know how much do you know about television? How much do you know about television? Do you know just know the brands for the uh, television? Do you know the history of television? Who invented the television? Uh, what, wa uh, what were the steps to invent uh, television? Of course, all of that will be answered in today's article. But there is no argument that TV is an essential piece of furniture in our houses if you consider it a furniture so this is the uh, to, uh, today's article a brief overview of the history of television a brief all of this article just a brief overview of the history of television so let's listen to it together and pay attention to the details because we'll, later we'll be answering some Questions. Let's listen. Television was not invented overnight by a single person. The work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. In the early days, two distinct schools of thought in technology influenced different researchers and the course of their investigation. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkow's rotating discs that supported a mechanical television system, and the second one on an electronic television system that used a cathode ray tube developed independently by two inventors, Campbell Swinton and Rosing. Paul Nipkow, 1860-1940, 
who invented the Nip Cow Disc in 1884, was the first person to discover the scanning principle that allowed small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. However, it is unclear whether Nipkow actually built a working prototype of his television system. So, this is the first part of the article. Let's continue to the second part. Electronic television is based on the development of the cathode ray tube, which can still be found in modern television sets. Philo Farnsworth, 1906-1971, was the first inventor to transmit a television image, a dollar sign, using the dissector tube which is the basis of all current electronic televisions. The American engineer started experimenting with electricity when he was 12, when he built an electric motor and produced an electric washing machine. He was still in high school when he conceived of his ideas for television. A lot of people wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea. In actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904, while in 1925 Zwarkin filed his proposal for an all-electronic color television system. Commercial broadcasting, however, started in the early 50s, a quarter of a century later. So here in this part of the article, they are talking about colored television. Uh, when was it invented? Of course, if you search online about the first broadcast of uh, the television and compare it to what you see now in the latest technology, the 4K, the 8K clarity and the color system, you will see how long uh, has the television came for, for maybe 100 years or more. So, you know, and it's, it's not stopping now, of course. So, uh, as it says here, a lot of people wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea. People think that color television is a recent idea. In actual fact, the earliest proposal, uh, proposal for color television was patented in 1904. That's more than 100 years. So, while in 1925, uh, Zurich filed the, his proposal for an all-electronic color television system. So, in this article, there are a lot of information. Let's continue with the article. John Baird, 1888-1946, is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system, based on Nipkow's scanning disk idea. Actually, his work included a number of technological milestones in the history of television. He created the first televised pictures of objects in motion, 1924, the first televised human face, 1925, color television, 1928, stereoscopic television, and television by infrared light that were presented and demonstrated before the 1930s. Vladimir Zwarkin, 1889-1982, the inventor of the iconoscope, a transmission device, as well as the kinoscope, i.e. the cathode ray tube, in 1929, was one of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features of modern television, otherwise called the tube. Most people in Britain that use the word tube to refer to television, fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. Nor do people stop and think about the meaning of the word television, which refers to the transmission of images over a distance. So, this is the definition, if you want to define uh, the word television, refers to transmission of images over a distance. So, maybe this is, uh, if you find it correct, definition to a television, broadcasting, again, uh, transmission or broadcasting, transmission of images uh, uh, over a distance. Is this a correct definition for a television? Can you define the word television, what is a television? If you, uh, if you go back in time before the invention of the television and you want to explain what a television is to, uh, uh, to the people, how would you define it? How would you explain it? How do you think the people uh, uh, received the idea of the television? The, maybe it's a box where I see some people inside the box. So it's a revolution that was at that time. Continuing with the article here. 
In 1929 Zwarkin became the Director of Electronic Research at Radio Corporation of America, RCA, and was later promoted to Vice President in 1947. Zwarkin invented many devices including the scintillation counter, a device for measuring radioactivity. He held more than 80 patents and received numerous awards for his work. Louis W. Parker patented the intercarrier sound system in 1948, which is now used in all television receivers in the world. Without it, televisions would probably have been too costly for most people. The plasma display monitor was invented in July. 1964 by Professors Bitzer and Slotow and their graduate student Robert Wilson. However, successful plasma television only became feasible later, after the development of digital and other technologies. A factor that delayed the commercial development of plasma display was connected with LCD or liquid crystal displays which made flat screen television possible. This minimized one of the advantages of plasma television in terms of a flat screen with an improved image. So it has taken a lot longer for plasma display to become more widely acceptable and accessible. Until recently, a plasma television screen was regarded, to some extent, as a symbol of affluence or status along with other possessions. Now a new development is affecting communication and media further, namely that of web or internet television. When internet access is available along with adequate hardware, more and more viewers appear to be switching over to their laptops or desktops to watch films and other programs. Television sets are connected, allowing access to digital channels. The key word seems to be access. It is quick access and options that determine the popularity and, consequently, the commercial success of a medium. Television has so far been fairly well established, it remains to be seen how digital technology will affect its evolution in the future. So in this uh, part of the article he's talking about the LCD and the plasma TV and how are they uh, uh, in previous times uh, signals or indicate that a person is rich and wealthy or says here a symbol of uh, affluence and in the second part it talks about how now televisions are connected to the internet so it's like a laptop now you can open websites you can open uh, the video you're watching now through uh, media channels over the uh, over the television so uh, television as i said before came a long way from just trying to put some colors on the tv or just make it brighter or make it clearer now we're talking about uh, the uh, the uh, the connection to the internet the media applications on the tv and etc so this is the after reading uh, questions, answer the questions, now that we have listened to the article and read it together. Uh, explain what the two main schools of thought were in the early days. Again, explain what the two schools of thought were in the early days. There are two schools of thought, uh, if you remember. Explain them. Uh, what explain again what the two main schools of thought were in the early days okay let's check the answer if you're right or wrong the two main schools of thought were Paul Nipkow's rotating discs and a cathode ray tube development uh, de developed independently by Campbell Swinton and Rosing again the two main schools of thought were the first one Paul Nipkow's rotating disc and cathode ray tube developed independently by Campbell, uh, Swinton and Rosing. The second question here, how did Philo, uh, how did Philo Farnsworth transmit an image? What did he use? How did uh, Farnsworth transmit an image? This was of course revolutionary at that time to transmit or to send an image. What did he use? You can go back to the article and find the answer. Okay, let's see the answer together now. He transmitted a dollar sign. He used a dissector tube. 
he transmitted a dollar sign. If you know a dollar sign, the S with the two lines in the middle of it. He used a dissector tube. How old is the concept of color TV? If you remember the debate, the wrong accusations. How old is the concept, the idea, the concept of color TV? Okay, let's see the answer together now. The earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904. Again, the earliest proposal for uh, color television was patented in 1904. Of course, people uh, uh, assume wrongly that the color TV was a recent idea, but now we know it is more than 100 years old. Why is television called the tube by some people? Why is television called the tube by some people? This was discussed in the uh, late paragraphs of the article. Okay, let's check the answer together. Because people fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. Again, because the people fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. Number five, how did Parker's system affect developments? How did Parker's system affect development? You can get back to the article. It's a long article, so try to find the uh, answer. Okay. He made television cost effective. So he focused on the cost. He made television's cost effective. So this is the number six part of the after reading. I did the first two. You can continue the rest. Uh, read the text again. Find each inventor's name the name of his invention, the approximate year, write the information in the chart along with the effect that each invention had on the evolution of television. So we have a chart here, we have four columns, year, inventor, invention, the effects of his invention. So I did the first two for you so you can continue answering this question by yourself. The first one, uh, the year is 1884. The inventor is Paul Nipkow. His invention is the Nipkow disk. The effect, it allowed small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. So now you know that the invention of TV didn't come at once. It was uh, step by step. It took it time. The second one, we have three years, 1924, uh, uh, 25, and 28 by John Baird. He invented a mechanical television system based on Nipkow's scanning idea. It led to him creating the first uh, televised pictures of uh, objects into motion, the first televised human face color television. So I did the first two. You can continue the rest by yourself. One common way of organizing an article is to present several main ideas each in its own paragraph. So this is a new method of uh, reading. You can put ideas into uh, paragraphs. Again, one common way of organizing uh, an article is to present several main ideas, each in its own paragraphs. A paragraph often, but not always, remember, begins by stating the main idea then supports the idea with examples. A paragraph, usually, not always, usually, uh, uh, begins with the main idea, and then the rest of the sentences will support this idea. Read paragraphs 4, 5, 6, and 7 of the article again, then underline the sentences in each paragraph that expresses the main idea. We'll be reading these paragraphs and see which one expresses the main idea, then compare their underlined sentences with a partner. So this is paragraph 4. This is paragraph 4. Can you tell where is the main idea sentence? It doesn't have to be the first sentence, of course. Can you tell where is the main idea here? Let's see it uh, together. It's this. Uh, Phil Fransworth, 1906 to 1971, was the first inventor to transmit a television image dollar sign using the dissector tube, which is the basis of all current electronic television, which is the basis. We can call him the father of television. Uh, so this is the main idea of the whole paragraph. 
What about paragraph 5 here? Where is the main idea here? Paragraph 5. Yes, in actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904. This is the main idea here. In actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904. And here in paragraph 6, where is the main idea here? Okay, let's check together. It's the first sentence here. John Bird is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system based on Nipkow's scanning idea. And the whole sentences here are supporting this idea. What about paragraph number seven? Also, it's the first sentence. Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Zurkin is the first inventor of the, con uh, of the iconscope a transmission device as well as the kinescope. Again, it's the first sentence here. Uh, Vladimir Zwerskin, the uh, he's the inventor of the uh, echnoscope, a transmission device, as well as the uh, kinescope. And with that, we reach to the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah ilaha 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 ilaha